Short sellers provide an important function in the financial markets by identifying what they see as companies that are in trouble and the public may not know about it yet, but they are also controversial. And more than one company has been very vocal against short sellers. There's even been some litigation revolving this as well. So today we welcome hedge fund manager Wolfgang Rucker from Skybreeze Capital to talk about one company that you're familiar with uh, that has been the victim of short sellers. So we're talking about Wirecard. Uh, this is a German-based company. Uh, first of all, tell me, lay the groundwork here. Tell me what Wirecard is and what do they do? Oh, thank you. Thanks for having me here. Uh, Wirecard is a <clears throat> credit card processing company, basically, right? So anytime you go and buy something online, you use your credit card like Visa MasterCard, uh, there must be a processing company behind that so to, to fulfill the, the process. Um, and that's basically Wirecard. Okay. So what is the issue here. There have been some articles that have been negative about Wirecard, so tell me about that. What have those articles Well, pointed? Wirecard has been over the years always a victim of, of short sellers, let's put it that way. Um, and uh, the latest was started this year was one of, one of the hardest things. Um, that They have been accused by a Financial Times news magazine. They have published a few articles and a series of stories that Wirecard Substary in Singapore uh, ha had some issues when it comes to their financials over there okay. and the audits. Now, <clears throat> also it has been, they have been accused that they um, <clears throat> having brought out misleading information and fire, Wirecard fired back all the time. You do own shares in Wirecard? Yes, we do own shares on Wirecard. We think the company is a quite underwell a company at that stage where it is. Um, the entire focus has been all over the year basically just on the story, on the misleading information about the short sellers, about the interviews, about the stories, yeah. about the uh, well, I saw the stock studies. was down 30 percent yeah. today. So is that attributed to these articles? Yes, it is. It's okay. still like that. Um, we we would say the market has not been very focused into the fundamentals of the company. So the company does well. And I'm giving you an example here on that. So as I'm saying, if if someone is and they have great customers, they have great clients. Just they announce they have um, the the Swiss Post was using the service of, of Wirecard. So if a regular person is basically buying something, as I've just mentioned here, uh, uh, buying a product on a website, so they don't know that they basically processed by Wirecard. You don't see that. Mm -hmm. And I think that the, the, all the story has no effective, um, won't impact basically the business model of Wirecard. That's what I would like to say. And that's why we believe, and I especially I believe, that the company is entirely underwhelmed right now at the stock is trading right now. Mm -hmm. Okay, and um, they'll be coming out with an earnings report soon. So that will hopefully sort all, a lot of this out and the company executives will be able to make some statements and address this. Yeah, I, I think I think they will come up, um, they will beat the estimates. Um, and I, I, I personally along with the stock um, and I think we will see that. And I mean, some of the financial analysts coming in, they dropped the, the price target, some of them increased. Um, they had one of the largest shareholders of them is SoftBank. Um, DVS um, just became the, the second largest investor. Uh, they just increased their the investment uh, last week after the, the latest news on, on Wirecard uh, when they came back from Financial Times again. The, the stock dropped, I think, uh, that day was one of the worst days, 20% down, recovered 15%. Um, the stock is, I think, down. Um, <clears throat> 15, 16 percent. I think we can we can still see 20, 30 percent this year. I mean, this is still possible. I mean, let's see. Let's wait for November 6 uh, with the earnings. Mm -hmm. Well, and especially if the stock's been unfairly beaten down by reports. I mean, it could be a buying opportunity and would easily increase. If for me, it's it's definitely a buying opportunity because I think the the company has a great management. Mm -hmm. um, I think the company does uh, a solid work when it comes to the merchant process. And as I'm saying. Um, regular people out there, they don't know what's going on behind the scene. They don't know about the stories. They just using the service, the solution which right. Wirecard provides to its customers, yeah. and that's uh, that's what it is. It's I mean, kind of at an the end of the infrastructure company, it's not a consumer type company, but an yeah. infrastructure company. That infrastructure, people deal with. yeah, and they're dealing with merchants, with large merchants, um, and um, they did this very well over the years. Um, they're very good, um, and I think 
just from a financial perspective, it's a good company. It's a good, a good, good buying opportunity. Okay. Well, we're going to certainly watch the earnings report on November 6th and yeah. see what they have to say. Thank, thank you so you. much. Thank you very much. For coming thank in. you. And thank you as well for joining us.